Sunday afternoon, I just got out of church, and usually this is the, type of, this is the day where I lay around or sit around, not do much at all, maybe take a nap. It's so nice and bright outside, and it's rare it's recently to have a nice bright day, so I gotta get out and do some fishing. I'm going to a pond that's on top of a mountain, and I've never fished it before, but hopefully I'm gonna be able to see what's in there, just kinda do some multi-species fishing, see what kind of fish I can catch out of it. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, finally got one. I was gonna catch a fish. It's a bluegill. It's like my seventh lure. I'm like, all right, I need to change up something where these fish are gonna go for it. I've tried trout magnets and little hugger mites and this and that, and there's a bunch of little fish in there I've seen, but nothing really goes for it. So, switch to the rooster tail. I'm like, that might be what they need. Got me a bluegill. It's only taking about 40 minutes to get one, so now let's see if I can catch a few of them. There he is. Oh, no, 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 get a cut on that. Wow, that's a nice bluegill. That's the one I think hit the first time. Had to cast several times to get it. He's a lot bigger than that last bluegill I caught. That's a good size bluegill. That's not a picture behind me. That's Parksville Lake down there. But uh, I've come back up here to the uh, top of the mountain where this lake is. And I came out here on, uh, it was a week ago, or uh, six days ago on Sunday. And I came out, I fished for two hours, caught like three or four little fish. Finally at the end, I caught like four or five trout and my uh, camera stuff messed up. So finally I got time to come back and uh, also see some awesome views up here. But I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna go right to where I caught those trout and see if I can get on some trout. I'm gonna start out with a little MEP spinner. It's a size one Black Fury, but I'm not too sure how it's gonna go. When I was here the other day, there was trout jumping all over. And then when I pulled up this morning, there were several teenage boys that were leaving, some couple guys I know, and they had caught several. So I'm, we'll see how it goes. There's my first one. Take a little bit of time, but, oh no, it came off. Well, I had the first one, I lost the first one. There's the trout. Right, let's see if I can land this one. No, it came off again. Ah, I almost got that one to the bank and lost it. I switched to the uh, rooster tail, the, what's it called? Uh, rainbow colored style here. I don't know if it's just a different color or if it's just a matter of time for another one bit. I gotta get one of these guys in. There's something, what do I got? Am I gonna lay my first fish for today? It's a trout down this way. The other day I couldn't find anything down this end, but it is a little colder out, so I'm wondering if the trout have moved some. And he wasn't hooked very hard. Let's see this guy. Pretty little rainbow trout. Oh, stalker guy, there he is right there. Look at him. 
Look at that little guy. That's pretty looking. There's one. Can I get one in? This thing's fight like crazy. I don't want to jerk it out of their mouth. I'm not trying to keep them. You can catch them to keep if you want to up here because I stock them in there, but I just want to catch them for fun and enjoy how pretty they are and just hooking them and stuff. Look how green that thing is. That's, that's cool looking. small. When I was here the other day, I caught some. They were, they were bigger than this, they were, but they were down on the deeper end. Caught the fight, there he is. I felt a tug, and then just like that one I lost a second ago, I felt the tug, then a second later another tug. This one's a little guy. This is littler than the one I lost a minute ago. But, uh, I'd like to catch one more bigger one, but I'm sure there's no huge ones. They're all just probably about the same size, but still. Fun to catch. Oh, there he is. Came back for it. Come on. The spinners definitely have what has been working. Oh, there's a little bit, a little bit bigger one. Oh, I guess he's not too big, but he's all right. Get over here, man. Fish are definitely hard to hang on to, but I'm glad I came up here to this pond, try it out. I really, I'd been, I'd heard about it, and I really didn't think there's a lot of fish in it. Somebody told me they stock trout, and I was like, well, I mean, I don't know when they stock it. I'll go up there anyways. But the thing is, I fished for a while, didn't catch nothing. But whenever I switched to a spinner bait or a little uh, spinner, inline spinner, I started catching fish, and then that's when I started catching trout. And if I'd have just been bass fishing the whole time, I'd have never would have caught any trout. There's one. Okay, well that's interesting because I just had my MEP spinner back on there and I cast around this whole area. I cast around the whole area with the MEP spinner and um, I didn't, I, had, I saw a couple trout, because the water's clear, come up, hit at it, or like look at it and go back down. I didn't really get any hits. Third cast on the black uh, rooster tail, and I got a trout after I already missed one on it. So I'm wondering if it's the color that's making the difference down here. So I'm gonna have to fish down here for a little while and see how it does. 